Singapore's parliament is all set to debate the finance minister's 2013 budget statement from Tuesday and thereafter the budget allocations for the various ministries. Some of the topics on the cards include a call to the return of dual key HDB flats to promote togetherness within multi-generational families, measures to address the income gap, reducing stress in schools and allowing students to have their holidays without tests and assignments. The work of three newly formed ministries will come under scrutiny. In the area of social and family development, GPC Chair Sia Kian Ping believes more can be done to integrate the work of the many players, like the family service centres and the community development councils to provide help to the needy. We always thought the last mark of delivery. How can we make this for the intended beneficiaries easier, more seamless, uh, and more timely so that at the end you know we can for the people who, who needs to use these services uh, it can be easier and more timely if we do it well the impact will be felt greatest by the beneficiaries synergizing the work of the ministry of culture community and youth is a key challenge says its gpc chair the ministry's work is quite different from you know other you know infrastructure or financial um, uh, economic ministries and hence i you know, don't think we should measure it strictly by figures or, um, you know, KPIs. Uh, a lot, it could be through uh, a, a sense, uh, whether we, we feel, um, you know, for a country, what is the, 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 the level of uh, the integration, you know, what all is social capital. And I think these are things that are difficult uh, to, to measure exactly. And I think the public also will understand, um, especially in, in today's climate, a lot of things is intangible. Another reconstituted ministry is that of communications and information. Its GPC chair, Zaki Mahal, says it will focus on how info communications, media and design can contribute to future economic growth. The GPC also wants to know if the ministry would enhance support for public service broadcasting and with a view to improve the content experience and reach to Singaporeans. Then there are the issues which come up regularly during the Meet the People sessions, like the granting of long-term visit passes and citizenship to foreign spouses of Singaporeans. In the area of housing, GPC Chair Ms. Lee Biwa will talk about returning to the days of dual-key HDB flats to promote togetherness within multi-generational families. Ms. Lee notes that some residents have been asking for such multi-generation flats as they have parents or parents-in-law living with them and they have also cited flat size as a deterrent factor for having more children. The Transport GPC will be touching on the fare formula review, the vehicle quota system and rail reliability and connectivity. While the GPC for finance and trade industry is concerned about making Singapore attractive for businesses given the economic outlook and business conditions. Singaporeans at the core of a growing workforce is the main theme of the GPC for manpower. We are also quite aware of the tightness of the market. Um, we need to supplement our workforce with uh, talents which are relevant, talent which are of high calibre, talent which can come in and contribute directly to our economy. For the GPC Chair for Defence and Foreign Affairs, some of the recent high-profile accidents in the SAF are of concern. SAF has a lot more to do to build up the public confidence to ensure that their safety records uh, is not marked by any further incidents. Our GPC will be focusing on what, uh, what more can be done. Dr Lim adds that ASEAN's centrality will also be discussed during the Ministry of Foreign Affairs debate, especially the 2015 target of an ASEAN economic community.